Hello, this is Bern, and if you are not being passionately pursued by men and want to turn this around once and for all, you need to watch my video today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can attract the kind of man you want as a direct result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you, no need for gimmicks, manipulation, or stupid techniques. Now, if you're watching my video, more likely than not, you are not being pursued by men at the level that you want to, or you want to create more magnetism, or you want to stop having to do the work that you feel should be the guys to do in the dating process. Why? Because for thousands of years, the masculine has done the pursuit and the feminine has been open to receiving the pursuit and either accepting or gently or not so gently declining the offer. Now, because you have more opportunities now than at any point in history as a woman, you have more options, you have more rights, you have more things that are good in nature. Some of what has come through that change is that men have gotten confused as to what the role is in the pursuit. Because if the name of the game is equality, and according to some human beings, everything should be 50-50, well, women should pursue men half the time. And I don't happen to agree with that shit. I don't think it's true. I think that if you are in your core a feminine woman, you will thrive, not just prefer, but to thrive with the prospect of a guy clearly stating his intentions and pursuing you. And if you're a man, and if you are more connected to your masculine, then you will prefer to do the pursuit. Now, I'm going to do a little side note here and say pursuit is not the same thing as chasing. Chasing is the obnoxious, I don't have self-awareness, I'm going to hit my head against the wall until the wall breaks or somebody slaps me in the face. That's chasing. That's my, I'm worthless and I need to chase you to find my worth and you can reject me a hundred times and I'm still going to show up. That's chasing. Pursuing is stating your intentions clearly telling the woman that you want her in your life and doing the actions, doing the deeds, courting her, pursuing her in such a way that you make it happen. So if you as a guy have a masculine essence and prefer to do the pursuit, and you as a woman have a feminine essence and prefer to be pursued, but this world is telling you things should be half and half, for everything right down the middle, you're going to have a miserable time. And guys will have sort of a miserable time as well. So politically correct, there's nothing wrong with the guys and the women doing the alternating in the pursuit. And a real essence, and I think you know what I mean if you're listening to this, you probably feel that it shouldn't be that way. So if you are in agreement that doesn't matter that things should be 50-50 for some, that you don't want to pursue guys and that the guy should pursue you, and again, pursuit is not the same thing as chasing, then that's the first step. You know, The first step is accepting deciding that you are going to do things differently than maybe you've learned or than you've been doing them in the past, which means you're going to relax. You're going to allow men to call you when they want to call you, to invite you when they want to invite you, to ask you on a date when they want to ask you on a date, to show up. And your job is to show up with fullness of being, with a lot of light, with a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of heart openness, and allow the guy to fill himself up and Go back and do it again and again and again and again and make it happen progressively. Now, it, this doesn't mean that you will never message the dude or never call the dude. It just means that primarily the guy will initiate. Primarily the guy will say, let's make this happen. And you will say yes. Because if you take it upon yourself, say, well, he asked me once. I'm going to ask him once again. Again, it's unnecessary. If the, re if the guy really wants to make this happen, he will make it happen. He doesn't need your hint. He doesn't need your call. He doesn't need your remember I exist type message that's this guy is this, uh, I'm just thinking of you. He doesn't need any of that to make it happen. So first step is decide that you want to do things differently. Not, it's, and it's not less courageous. It's more courageous. Why? Because you will have to loosen the grip of control. Why? Because if, if a guy is pursuing you and he's leading the dating process, then you might feel, well, if I don't call him, he's not going to call me. If he doesn't call you, move on. Really step into that decision. Number two, you need to soften. Why? Because if you say, well, okay, I'm going to let a guy pursue me, but you show up with a lot of masculine energy, you show up with a lot of thought versus heart, then the guy is not going to feel inspired to pursue you, right? The decision to pursue you is going to be intellectual in nature, in part, and punch me in the stomach and punch me in the heart, emotional in nature, in part. Which means, if the guy connects with you and he feels something opening up his chest, 
if he feels your aliveness, if he feels your sensuality, if he feels your energy, he feels your fire, and this is, has nothing to do with you being sexually explicit, just feels the energy inside of you, your smile, your excitement, that's going to jolt him up inside and allow him to do more of the pursuing. That, now he has a reason to do it. Now he's not just connecting with his mind, he's connecting with his heart, with his emotions and his mind, and it will help you tremendously. So lean back, soften, raise your vibration, and I'm not talking a hocus pocus new age way. Vibration meaning your level of aliveness, your level of energy, your level of excitement, your level of openness. And when you do those things, then he has something to go on. Third step, and a lot of women do the first two, but they fail on the third one, is verbalize it. What does that mean? S set a clear intent intention and boundary. When you connect with a guy and you're talking about what's when you ask the guy, what are you looking for in a relationship? The guy's gonna tell you, and then he's gonna ask you, what are you looking for in a relationship? Another good question is, tell me what makes you feel excited through the dating process. Probably a question he's never been asked and probably a question you'd never asked. The guy's gonna say something. Now, verbalize, here's what makes me thrive. I am, if you wanna call it old-fashioned, it's not really old-fashioned, I'm connected to my essence. And in my essence, I allow a guy to lead the dating process. I allow a guy to show up, and if he wants to make it happen, I'm super excited. I allow for a guy to open my door. I allow for a guy to ask me out. I allow for a guy to call me if he wants to see me. And it's not that, that it's your responsibility to do it. I'm telling you, this is how I thrive in the dating process. Now, if a guy is intelligent and he, uh, he feels something towards you, two things will happen. A, he knows what he needs to do to win. Two, if he's, from in his, if he's connected to his masculine and he's lost the notion of what he needs to do, he's going to get the permission he needs to own the process. Because right now, this ambiguity is not helping anyone. And if you're clear in your stance and are giving him permission to step up in his stance, then he's probably, if he has a masculine essence and he's connected to his consciousness at some level, he's gonna say, yes, I've been looking for someone like you. I'm so excited now. Let me make another big disclaimer. This doesn't mean that he makes all the decisions. This doesn't mean that that it's his way or the highway. It just means that he is taking the primary role of moving the dating process forward. He's taking the primary role of saying, I, you are a prize, my dear, and I want to earn the privilege of connecting with you. It doesn't mean that it's not a privilege for you. It just means that in this dynamic, you are the prize. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you, my dear, to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, you'll find a link that allows you to sign up to a free masterclass that I created. So you go to the first link on the description of this video, click on it, enter your name and email, and you'll be immediately redirected to how you can create the relationship you want. It's a 40 minute masterclass, it's free. Now, if you're saying to yourself, I want more, I don't just want videos, I want hand-holding, customized help, I want accountability, and I want you to help me find my soulmate, then reach out. There's a second link on the description of this video that will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.